What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel now that I can finally enter the vlog. I started off the morning by going to the gym. I don't normally do that. I'm not really a morning gym person, but I just woke up and felt like I really needed to get a workout in. So I did the stair stepper for 15 minutes and then I did 30 minutes on the treadmill with like fluctuating incline. Now I'm back. I had a breakfast sandwich. About to get my day started. I want to have like a productive clean the apartment kind of day and I don't think it's going to take me all day so I don't know what I'm going to end up doing after but I really want to like deep clean the kitchen, clean our bathroom, and vacuum the whole apartment so I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to look like this for the first half of the vlog because there's no point in me taking a shower if I'm just going to end up deep cleaning the apartment and getting gross again so this is me in my true form. I think... I'm gonna start off by cleaning the kitchen just because I'm sitting here staring at it and it needs to be done. Let's start by doing that. I need to clean like the stainless steel appliances. I wanna wipe down all the counters and clean off the stove. Okay, I'm gonna start off by cleaning the stove. And to clean the top of the stove, I use glass cooktop cleaner and polish. I got it off of Amazon. So if you have like a glass stove top, this stuff works really, really well. Literally all you have to do is, well, first of all, I guess this is still kind of hot. So maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be coming back to that. I didn't realize that the stove was still hot for breakfast. So I'm going to clean the counters instead. For the counters, no surprise, I use these Clorox wipes just because they're easy and they get the job done. So I'm going to start by doing the counters, even though there's a lot of stuff on the counters right now. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I Next I'm going in on these stainless steel wipes For all of the stainless steel appliances So like the sink, some parts of the stove Microwave and the refrigerator Stainless steel picks up Handprints and dirt really really easily And it drives me up the wall um, so I did buy these off of Amazon and I personally think they work really well. I try to do this at least once a week so that the kitchen has like a nice refresh and like a new clean look to it. So I'm going to go in and wipe down all the appliances with this. And then after I use this, you go in with a microfiber towel, which this was actually sent to me with this from Amazon. So it was like a package deal and you wipe this down and this is what actually removes the fingerprints and stuff. So this cleans it and removes all the gunk from the stainless steel and then this is like what gets rid of the streaks and fingerprints and stuff like that that this leaves so kind of like a little duo I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all
with the kitchen. So now we're moving on to the bathroom because I really do want to deep clean this bathroom. The current lineup for cleaning products is Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. I use Clorox wipes again. Stainless steel wipes because we do have stainless steel in the bathroom and for some reason our sink spout is that what it's called spout I think yeah gets really dirty really fast and the only thing that I can get like the grime up with is stainless steel wipes and then we have Windex for the mirror. I also think I need to I know I have stuff to clean the shower I just need to like try and find it. I have like the scrubby bubbles shower cleaner and the shower needs to be cleaned we haven't cleaned the shower since we moved in and it's been like a month and a half now i don't know how often people clean their showers i guess it just depends on how dirty it gets but i just feel like it's now time to really clean it so i'm gonna get to doing this now is done clothes done now i'm gonna go in with the shower which arguably needs it the most i'm gonna use this comet spray i think it just like is supposed to fight the grime that's like around the edges of the shower and by the drain just spray six to eight inches from the surface then wipe with a damp cloth or rinse on a tougher soil let it stand for several minutes before wiping so i'm gonna spray this let it sit for a few minutes and then spray it down and hopefully <laughs> this gets the grime away because where the shampoo bottles are sitting and where the body wash is sitting is like where the grime is collected like underneath it, you know what I'm talking about, and by the drain. So those are the main tough points and I hope this works. Honestly, I haven't used this very often, so fingers crossed. that comet stuff actually worked really well because all of the grime that was on the shower before is now gone i didn't show you guys but i did scrub a few places a little bit just to make sure that it really came up but for the most part it looks really good and it's very clean white so would recommend that spray if you guys are looking for a good shower spray i don't remember where i got it because i got it like two years ago when i first moved into my east village apartment so not sure but you can probably get it from the grocery store honestly
skin. I'm having some really fun <laughs> breakouts on my chin for absolutely no reason, but I finished cleaning up the apartment. You can also probably hear from the ball in the background. Just ignore all the things. Pretend like this is a peaceful environment and I have clear skin. That's what I'm going for right now. But I finished cleaning the apartment, I took a shower, my hair's wet, and then honestly, I laid in bed for an hour just watching vlogs. I am now up, I'm dressed. I just, well, dressed. I put on sweatpants and a sweatshirt. I'm getting ready to run to CVS down the street because I need a few like items. I need a toothbrush, pimple patches for my fun friends that have appeared on my face, and a few other things. So I'm getting ready to do that, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, tell you that I was finished, cleaning there's no better feeling than a clean apartment i swear so would highly recommend taking a few hours out of your sunday saturday monday whatever day you want to do it and like completely resetting and deep cleaning your apartment because it truly does feel good like after you finish doing it that is what i've been up to for the majority of the day just hanging out post cleaning i was gonna get my nails done but when i called the nail place the lady on the phone was like being kind of weird. I called and asked if they had an opening for a dip manicure because I got gel two weeks ago and the gel literally chipped off within five days and then I had to repaint my nails myself. So I'm just like gonna go with dip from now on. I know it's not the most sanitary manicure that you can possibly get because like people are sharing the powder. I don't know, like there's a whole controversy behind it. But for me, I feel like whenever I get dip, it stays on for like literally three weeks. So I was gonna get dip for Halloween. But I called and I was like, hi, do you have an appointment at like three o'clock? And she goes, oh, honey, no. As if that was the craziest question I could have asked her. I don't know, the way she spoke to me, she just spoke to me as if me calling was the craziest thing that had happened to her today. So <laughs> I'm not getting my nails done. I'm gonna try to do them myself. Honestly, the manicure from last week still looks good. Like my cuticles look good and everything but my nails don't. So I'm gonna try to do them myself. I have like black and orange nail polish and I'm gonna do some sort of like Halloween thing. I keep my nails very simple. I don't do design or anything like that. So I'm gonna paint them, but I need to run out to CVS first because I know if I paint them and then try to go to CVS, I will mess up my nails. The reason I don't like doing my own nails is because I legitimately cannot touch things for like two hours after I do my own nails or I will mess them up. And because I have ants in my pants and, and like have to constantly be doing something, I always end up messing up my nails when I do it myself. So I'm gonna try really hard not to, which is why I need to get everything done before I do it. I need to get on that. That was like a really long, pointless rant about why I don't do my own nails, but now you know. Okay, I just got back from CVS. I'm in the bathroom because I'm gonna put these on in a second, but I figured I would do a little haul for you guys. Not that it's very <laughs> exciting, but I got a new toothbrush. I like the little electric toothbrushes because I feel like they clean my teeth. I feel like normal toothbrushes never clean my teeth the way that I want them to. So I got these and then I know these are bad for my skin before anyone comes at me, but I just feel like I have so many pores on my nose and I don't know how to get them to go away. And sometimes these work for me, sometimes they don't, whatever. The, I don't even know how to pronounce this, the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips that you put over your nose. I know there's a whole thing with like Hiram saying that these are bad for your skin. I know they're bad for your skin, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. And I just like looked in the mirror today and was like, this is not okay. This needs to go away. So trying this and then I got pimple patches. I'm trying a brand because they didn't have the brand that I normally get. I normally get the Hero Cosmetics ones because I feel like they work the best for me, but I couldn't find them. And when I asked like a CVS worker for help. I had like the most bizarre <laughs> interaction with him. I asked him where the Hero Cosmetics patches were and well first of all I asked him if he could help me find something because I didn't know if like maybe he just like doesn't actually work at the store and like just restocks the store because you know sometimes stores have that where the people don't actually work in the store they just are there to restock things. So I asked him I was like would you be able to help me find something? He goes depends on what it is. I was like would you be able to help me find this specific pimple patch? He goes sorry um, I'm not a female and there's no girls working in the store today. <laughs> when I tell you it took me like five seconds to register what this man's just said. I just looked at him and was like, so you can't just like look it up in your system? Because I was genuinely confused by the response that he gave me. You shouldn't need a, a girl, a female, to look up a specific product in your store, whether or not it is a feminine product or not. Like that was just not the correct response to come out of his mouth, in my opinion. 
it was just a weird bizarre interaction so i just like looked at him and was like okay thanks whatever after he told me that he couldn't even look it up in his system to see if they had it, I was like, this is weird. I'm leaving. That was weird. Ugh, I just didn't like it. So I'm trying these ones out. I'm trying Clearasil Ultra Overnight Spot Patches. I tried to look them up on Amazon before I bought them to see if they had good reviews, but my service wasn't loading. So really, this is on a whim. I just hope that they work out. They have like a good number of patches that they come with, but I do like the Hero Cosmetics ones the best out of all the ones I've ever tried, but I've never tried these. So maybe these will be my new go-to since the CVS near me carries these and not the Hero Cosmetic patches apparently. So I'm gonna try these out and put them on now and then I'm gonna go paint my nails like I've been talking about. But I just want these on my skin because I don't know what is happening, but my chin is having a freak out. And I don't even know if the pimple patches are gonna help because they're kind of like, I picked at them, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I did it anyways. happens when I try to paint my own nails. Left hand is perfect, came out beautiful. This hand is all kinds of messed up because I don't have the patience to sit there and wait for my nails to dry and I am right handed. So I'm gonna have to repaint these tomorrow. I just do not feel like painting them tonight. Anyways, it is now, what time is it? It's 7.43, so it's about eight o'clock at night. And I feel like I had a pretty successful day. We did all the cleaning and then we relaxed. I did my nails, made pumpkin bread, was able to read a little bit and just kind of hung out for the second half of the day, which that's how I really like to spend my Sundays, honestly, like partially getting my life together and cleaning, but mainly relaxing. Because I know that when Monday through Friday comes, I'm gonna have to spend my time working and stuff like that. So I do like to have like chiller weekends, but especially on Sundays. I feel like Sundays are just a good day to reset your apartment, but also like reset your mind. That. <laughs> is what I did today. I just feel like this vlog has been me rambling about nonsense, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below so that you guys don't miss out on any future vlogs, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.